Alright, so we're gonna be wrapping the stream up pretty soon, but I figured we'll get some timeline going. <laughs> timeline, this one is Inventions. There are many versions out there for people that don't know the game. Um, there's like historical events, discoveries, there's a music and cinema one, which is actually my favorite and I couldn't find it this morning. <laughs> it's back in my bag. So, so like historical events or something? Yeah. So the premise is simple. There are cards with, um, in this case, inventions throughout the course of history. And on one side it just has a picture and tells you what it is. And on the other side, it has the date that that thing happened. And we get dealt five cards each. And then we have one card flipped face up with the date showing in the middle to start the timeline. And then the first player has to pick one of the cards and try and slot it into the appropriate place in the timeline. So if you think it's earlier than the initial card, you put it to the left of it. If you think it's later, you put it to the right. You would then flip it up and see if you're correct. And if you're right, it stays in the timeline and makes the line bigger. If you're wrong, it's discarded and you get a new card. And the idea is to try and be the one to first one to get rid of all of your cards. Obviously, as you play, the line is going to get bigger and bigger. It's going to make it more and more difficult for figuring out what it is. And that's basically it. So, I don't know, you want to go first? Sure. Do you want to join in? Timeline. So. It's okay. I'll just no? watch. All right. We can watch one okay. first. I'm going to see the easy. invention of dynamite happened before 1872. Just, just about. <laughs> okay, 67. No. All right. I have some easy ones. This one's. I should know that. Sure, like uh, sometimes you put other cards just to spite people. For example, I put a television after this painting. 1925. Yeah. Yeah. Seems, seems just to squeeze your telephone. Well, <laughs> before TV, that's for sure. That's whether it's before the painting. Combustion yeah. engine. Probably wrong. Yeah, wrong. Yeah. Actually, I should have been over there. Yeah. Suck at this game. Just so I'm gonna combustion, get I guess. Dynamite combustion. I'm pretty sure the uh. color television came after. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so that goes there. Correct. So. All right. <laughs> um, pretty sure railroad was before dynamite. They used the dynamite to open the things too. Okay, I'm gonna go with one that I think must be pretty early. Eventually, hourglass. That's got to be super early. 900. There you go. I got one right. All right. <laughs> uh, so I think my Pythagorean theorem is even <laughs> older than that. Let's see, I wish I could have someone. 540. Now he. Now I don't know where to put my bronze because of the but my knowledge of playing Bronze Age became cooler for this Iron Age, this Bronze Age. How <laughs> do many people use before bronze? Huh? It's gotta be earlier than that. Yeah. Alright. I wasn't sure for some reason, yeah. Alright, general relativity. Oh, that's tough with the ones that are there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like that. I mentioned the airplane, I the telephone, and I mentioned the safe. All oh, the, the safe. safe. Like somewhere in this ballpark. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna try telephone in here. Okay. That's Alexander Graham Bell. Yeah. 1876. Just, <laughs> just <laughs> four years. Alright. Alright, so I think. <laughs> this one has the name of the person who invented them on them as well. John Logie Bell. Beginning I mean, of like navigation. The, like the Greeks and Romans were sailing around, right? But is that truly navigation? Because they were just going around the. I think they just went randomly to see where they end up? <laughs> no way. Like they learned to measure the stars and figure out which way to go. That's yeah. gotta be old. Yeah. Gotta be old. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. All right. I will. 
use my Yeezy one first. The cannon is gonna be before because they fight all the time back in the Renaissance with the cannons. Okay. What do you got left? I have the Celsius scale, which is I have. No oh, I should know this. But. No clue. Right. Um, I don't know. Should know this. Why? That's pretty close. No. Alright, so I'm gonna say the wheel is really, really, really old. Almost. Oh, not oh, enough. Buy one. Not enough. Oh. Uh, we have another extra card then. Yep. Ah, Celsius scale. Um. <laughs> Celsius scale. Oh, you Celsius scale. Eighteen twelve ish? No, I thought it was in the eighteens. Okay, mention of glasses. Mention of F1. That's weird. I'm gonna go with. Glasses. I'm gonna go with in here. Okay. <laughs> Tight. Just like 12 99. Uh, this submarine is going Dude, here or here. I know yeah. they had them in the Civil War. They had like really rudimentary ones. But did somebody build like a just, like, tank and send it underwater for fun? Back in like the <laughs> Renaissance or something? <laughs> like, uh, like, uh, uh, Leonardo da Vinci. Had many points. Oh, oh. Okay, so you do get a chance to do your to tie in best newspaper. I'm done. I'm gone. Newspaper. Oh. It's got to be before these times. I don't know what canon though. Do they use newspaper? They got to invent paper. Is that printed newspaper? The newspaper, not newsprint, but a published <laughs> newspaper. What does that mean exactly? Yeah. People were putting out regular information to send around. Medieval, oh. England, I think. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gotta be around here, I For sure. think. Yeah. All right, uh, I have tied it up. Sixteen oh five. Yes. Take one more. So, yeah. okay. <coughs> so I'm down. Sudden death tiebreaker. <laughs> saxophone. What? Spanish version. It's like a saxophone, but not really. I think we invent the saxophone. So think back to classical music. Was there any saxophone then? I don't think so. Probably in the 1700s when we had all the wood. It's a nice big hole right there, right? 160 <laughs> years, that's part of the, yeah. the strategy. Right? Yeah. That's another big, big hole. Yeah. It's going to go in one of those two. Almost 100 years. I think it goes in there. Nope. Yeah, and then the other one. Oh, one the two oh I have the phonograph. For the wind. <laughs> I know who invented it. I don't remember his <laughs> time period. <laughs> it's a uh, phonograph. Is by uh, who's the guy who invented like a million things? Uh, Edison. <laughs> Edison. Mm -hmm. Was that a phonograph though? He made the cylinders, right? Why did he make the phonograph? Uh, the phonograph <laughs> flat record. It was Edison. We'll find out soon. It's probably around the same time. Oh, yeah. These are these are annoying. <laughs> Let's put it this way. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> oh, he's going for the four-year window. No, or the five-year window. Either way. <laughs> Unless you're I'm just to hoping these here. tie. I'm just hoping these tie. Yeah. It's gotta be before. Oh wait, it's Edison. Edison. They have a picture of them. That's black and white. <laughs> but they have pictures back in these times too. Oh. I know where I would be getting some. Alright, after. 1877. Yep. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, I missed that too. Okay, so, uh, I mentioned the safe, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> like anything with a combination? In here? I feel like. I'd say I, here. I would say I here. Pretty I say old here, old here but you can. 1844. <laughs> oh. Okay, that was, uh, that's the Wright Brothers. So that's 18, early, like over here. Okay. 
a tuning fork. Oh. So once you're into music and instruments, you probably need that. The piano? Does it go with the piano? I think yeah. here. Probably that's that's, that's why. Well, hold on. No, they didn't have pianos though until here. So were they using this with a harpsichord for Mozart's time? I'll bet it's tuning fork used were used early though. For what? Um, just for tuning instruments. Just for tuning any instruments. I think it's up here. Uh, Seventeen. No. no. Okay. Uh, pretty bad at that. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's why you need a Star Wars version. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Bring, bring that Star Wars version. I feel like I'll do better. Although maybe not. I don't know. If it's got like all stuff from me, I would go back in the days when there's the Sith Lord and that Sith right. Lord. You're like, where these? All pretty cool stuff. I'll be like, I have no idea. Not. Well, classic trilogy. First there is, who press, what does this button do, and then there's, I don't like sand. <laughs> and then, and then I want to dream about Pat Man. Uh, most recent one. I think I've got well, four or five of them. The Americana and the American History Then they had the oh, big box one. They had the big box timeline challenge, yes. which I think has a mixture of stuff. That's a mixture and then gives you different modules to use your old cards too. Uh, okay. they, did, um, they did card line dinosaurs. Yes. Yeah. Card line's hard too. What's card, card line? Card line is you go with, like, for example, you can have countries and you have to like go by population, oh, okay. how much CO2 emits. They have, <laughs> and then geographic size. Yeah, so like the, the country one has four different stats. Oh, there's four. Yeah, yeah. Which one you want to do? Which one you want to do? Like one of those GDP, one of those CO2. GDP is the same company. Yeah. Same company. Yeah. Uh, and there's one that's animals, and again, they have multiple stats, so it might be like average, like, span, yeah. or, or whatever. There's a yeah. cool. wingspan, or whatever. You know. yeah. It's a cool little system. I like yeah. the music and cinema one because it's more stuff I know about. Yeah. And so this one I'm a little bit better. The signs and inventions. I bought I like that music and cinema when it first came out, and about 30 of the cards were randomly in spam. <laughs> I had to send. I had to pick them all apart and send them in. And I'm like, here are the cards I need. And they sent me the exact cards I needed back. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. As long as they. So yeah, I like it. I, I'm not so good at this one. I feel like I'm better at the historical events one. Yeah. I don't know. So yeah, that's that. I think at this point we're probably gonna have to wrap it up. Uh, gotta pack everything away. So tabletop day is gonna continue. There's obviously lots of people here still playing games. Live stream is gonna be switching off now. But um, if you're Finishing doing something else and you want to play a game, we're open till 9. Gaming's going to carry on till then. If you want to go even later than that, some people might be staying in the back room. Or I know there's at least one other event, uh, Bandemic, which is going on in town as well. And they have live bands and board games at the same time. That was great for us to play. We're awesome. So that's from 8 o'clock tonight. So hopefully you guys are having a good tabletop day. And we will see you next time. Have a good night. Yeah.